The State Department today extended indefinitely a federal review of the proposed Keystone XL pipeline. That is likely to delay President Obama's final decision on that controversial project until after the November midterm elections. The pipeline would carry oil from Canada to refineries in Texas, but it's raised concerns about the impact on the environment. So has the fuel drilling technique known as fracking, in which a mostly sand and water mixture is blasted underground to extract oil and gas from rock. A particular kind of sand is ideal for fracking. Rural Wisconsin has a lot of it, and mining companies are lining up to get it. But Dean Reynolds tells us some residents are lining up to stop them. At a packed town hall meeting in Arcadia, Wisconsin, representatives of the mining company All Energy sought to assure residents that a proposed 725-acre mine posed no risk. Six seconds a week is the amount of blasting that we're going to do. But the audience was not convinced. So why are we taking top-producing farmland and destroying it to produce, to get sand out? Maybe if it was one mine, the response would not have been as emotional. But the idyllic farmland of West Central Wisconsin has been transformed by 135 sand mining facilities, up from five just a few years ago. Oil and gas companies need the special crush-resistant sand to probe for fossil fuels in the process known as fracking. The trucks drive past here. There's sand on the roads. There's sand down in the ditch. So I do get a lot in my house. All that blowing sand is a health concern for Brenda Tabor Adams. Her farm is surrounded by four sand mines. After now dealing with it for a couple years, I am now starting to get some um, respiratory issues, I Wheezing. Guess. Wheezing. It'll wake me up at night. Professor Crispin Pierce of the University of Wisconsin at Eau Claire has been sampling the air near 11 local plants and found elevated levels of dust with crystalline silica, which can cause cancer. And like asbestos, it's a component of these small bits of dust that's particularly dangerous and damaging. But while the mining boom here has created concern, it's also created nearly 3,000 jobs. The growth in this industry, as long as it's done responsibly, is an excellent, awesome opportunity for Wisconsin. Rich Buttinger is president of the Wisconsin Industrial Sand Association, which runs 10 mines. He told us that if the mining companies just follow existing safety regulations, the threat from blowing sand will dissipate. Water wagons are constantly uh, watering down the roads. Uh, we have uh, sprinkler systems on our stockpiles. Still, over the past two years, Wisconsin's Department of Natural Resources has issued 22 citations for non-compliance with environmental regulations to 21 different mining companies. And while the county board eventually rejected all energy's plant for Arcadia, elsewhere in the state, there are few signs of a slowdown. 51 new mines are already in the works. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Eau Claire, Wisconsin.